After understanding the span in local span configuration, now we are going to discuss about remote span or R span. So in R span, source and destination port can be remote switch or a switch stack. So in span we discussed, we can only monitor traffic from source to destination which is directly connected to the same switch or a same switch stack. But in case of R span, it could be remote switch. So you may have a switch connected to another switch or in another switch through the trunk port and we want to monitor traffic right there. And these are the source devices which is going to generate traffic. Let's say this PC going to talk to each other or going to, uh, or going to access internet or some other network resources. So that's why we also need to create a dedicated VLAN or a special VLAN, which VLAN also known as a remote span VLAN. So obviously it going to be used, uh, it going to be used a trunk port along with uh, adding a tag. So it could be dot, uh, dot IQ or ISL. So topology going to be changed a little bit. So I have a same devices right there branch in HQ connected with the switch 1 and now I am connected switch 2. So this interface going to be the trunk and the port F0 slash 2 going to be the uh, monitoring interface or I should say the destination port. So IP address is same as we configured in previous video which is 1.1.1.1 in branch router 1.1.1.2 in headquarter router but as we can see a monitor device is connected to switch 2, not on switch 1. So, so IP interface brief 1.1.1 on branch. So IP interface brief on headquarter. Again, we're going to ping from branch to HQ. Whether we do have a connectivity? Yes, we do have. On switch 1, so CDP neighbor. So using port number F1, as we can see. We connected with the switch 2 and rest of port connected to the routers. So make sure interface F0 slash 1 working as a trunk. So this interface is going to work as a trunk, switch port mode trunk, excuse me. Switch port mode trunk. As well as we also need to create a special VLAN on both switches or every switches which is going to forward traffic of R square. So you may have another switches connected to right there. So make sure every switch has the same uh, VLAN as well as the attribute or a special attribute known as the remote span VLAN. So we are going to create VLAN number 100 let's say and we have some option as we can see there we have an option like a remote so remote span so we're going to use remote span as a vlan number 10 make sure same vlan going to work with this interface so vlan number 10 it is a remote span vlan so this is a not name of vlan actually this is a special attributes on switch 1 and let's let uh, clear earlier monitoring session. Let's say do so monitor session. I think it is working. It is running. Uh, so monitor session all. Yes. So configure terminal no monitor session for simplicity no monitor session 10. So do so monitor session session on no one is running in this time I'm going to use a uh, monitor session number let's say session number 50 for example and the source interface going to be my interface gig 0 slash 1 and we're going to capture or monitor traffic of both direction 
then after, then after monitor session session number 50 a destination going to be remote so for r span we're going to select remote and then after remote vlan number vlan number let's say the vlan was i think it was 100 uh, VLAN that we created it was 100 I think <laughs> uh, forget it was VLAN number 10 excuse me VLAN number 10 so once we configure it from on switch 1 we need to configure switch 2 as well so make sure do do so interface trunk So yes, we have a trunk port and we have a VLAN number 110 in 100 as a forwarding mode. And finally, monitor session, session number 50. And at this time, source going to be a remote VLAN, excuse me, remote VLAN, which is VLAN number 10. So please capture data from remote VLAN number 10 and send it to the destination port destination interface F0 slash 2 where my PC is connected. So we configured on switch 1 and switch 2. Now we are going to verify whether we are running local span or R span on switch 1. So let's say on switch 1 do so session do so monitor session all excuse me session all so as we can see the destination is r span vlan vlan number 10 we can also see right there so monitor session all it is a R span VLAN number 10 and we are going to send traffic to the interface F0 slash 2. So let me enable Wireshark on my laptop. This is interface F0 slash, excuse me, Ethernet. And currently we are not sending and receiving any uh, traffic from these two router. That's why we are not able to receive any packet. So now let's generate a little bit traffic from headquarter to branch router. And now we can see we sending and receiving ICMP packets. We can also go for some other kind of traffic like HTTP, Telnet, SSH and so on and so forth. So for example, we can again, uh, we can again go for the Telnet. So Telnet is enabled by default I think or I have enabled in previous section. Telnet 1.1.1.2 Yes We also receiving traffic from the Telnet So source is 1.1.1.1 and the destination is 1.1.1.2 and vice versa So this is, this is how your remote span or R span going to work So configuration is, uh, configuration is straightforward and understanding is little bit confusing so don't understand it is a spanning tree, it is span only, which is switch port analyzer. It is not a spanning tree protocol. In CCNP 2.0 switch, we don't need to discuss about ER span, that's why I'm going to skip uh, for now. And for R span, this is all about.